Yo, what's going on, Mandalorians? Welcome back to the Forge. Happy Monday. In today's video, we got six single sleeve blisters of Lost Origin versus the brand new style of Pokemon products, the Booster Bundle. So we're gonna open up 12 packs today, and we're gonna see which product kind of has the better pull rate, or if it's kind of even across the boards. All right. Hey, we officially surpassed 500 subscribers on this channel, so I appreciate all the love, and support. Hey, if y'all could do me the favor on this one, smash that thumbs up button. If you're brand new, consider subscribing. Make sure those bell notifications are turned on. And leave a comment down below what kind of experiences have you had with either of these products. And which one, in your opinion, is better. So without further ado, Mandalorians, let's go ahead and crack into these booster packs. So here we go. We got that booster bundle right in front of us. So we're going to start out with this one first. Uh, some of y'all have probably tuned into some of my live streams. We have opened up a couple of these, and I gotta say, you know, the pull rates are pretty okay on these ones. Um, haven't got a lot of luck with the single pack blisters, but that's why we're gonna be doing the comparison video today. And we're gonna see which product will reign supreme. Obviously, booster boxes are king, because you're guaranteed at least some sort of pulls, but when you get products like this, who knows? Maybe you're not guaranteed really anything. So, here we go. We're gonna start out with that first pack. But happy Monday, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Everyone that tuned into the live stream uh, this past Saturday, hey, all my brand new subscribers, all the new Mandalorians of the Forge, and everyone that came in and welcomed our community into theirs, yo, I greatly appreciate it. So now we can say we're officially on the road to a thousand subs. But let's get into these products. We got a Jinx, Pikachu, a Shuppet Reverse, and a Dugong Non Hollow. All right, so first pack, not too hot. Let's see what the second pack has for us. But here we go, y'all. Here's here's a code card for all my snipers out there. And, you know, this past weekend, hey, we had uh, the regionals in Baltimore. So as a recording of this, it is Sunday. So we're still trying to see who's going to be taking home the dub ski. But let's get it. Here we go. Horsey. We got C Dot. Hoopa Reverse. And a my cargo non hollow. All right, so 0 for 2. It's quite all right. Like I said, these can be hit or miss. Um, in the stream, you know, we do pretty good, but hey, maybe we just picked uh, the cold ones. So <laughs> here we go. Let's get it. We got the Fighting Energy, Nuzleaf, Riley, Bronzong, Mawile, Gumi, Gligar, Poliwag. Phalanx, we got a Glysaur Reverse, and a Glysaur Non-Hollow. Alright, so not a, even a trainer gallery, but it's quite alright. We're going to stay optimistic here. There's another code card for all you online gamers, and let's get it. Here we go. We got the Fuego Energy, so you know something crazy is fixing to come out of here. We got Gloom, Toolbox, Barnacle, Zarua, Ducklet, Ghastly, Lit Leo, we got a Litwick Reverse, and a Chandelure Hollow. All right, you know, hey, first, first hit, you know, hey, it is what it is. It's quite all right, though. Here we go. We're going to jump into our second to last pack of Magic. Hopefully, we can get a Trainer Gallery, maybe an Ultra Rare, something that we can, you know, put in our binder. But let's go. Here we go. We got a Hisuian Sligu. Box of Disaster, Stunfisk, Zarua, Seal, Rockruff, Ducklet, Growlithe, ooh, Reverse Paris, no Trainer Gallery, Non Hollow Electros. All right, here we go. Well, <clears throat> it's going to come all the way down to some last bag magic, y'all. Uh, booster Bundle's not doing too hot. It's not doing too hot. But hey, one pack. Can change everything. All right, one pack can change everything. So let's get it. Coreless experiment. Bronzong, Thornton, Shuppet, Murkrow, Electrike, Makuhita, Phantom. Ooh, okay. Radiant Sneezler. Finally, we're on the board, and then we're gonna be ending on. Okay, <laughs> Box of Disaster, Secret Rare. So hey, we got some last pack magic. All right, y'all, so as you see, we got the Secret Rare Box of Disaster, and then we got that Radiant Hisuian Sneezler. So now we got our six sleeve blisters, and we're going to see if these will still reign supreme, because I'll be honest with y'all, outside of booster boxes, these are my go-to joints right here. 
Because like I said, I feel like, you know, hits are going to be randomized. And like I said, you know, you can buy four of these from your local uh, Walmart Target. And you can pull a uh, Giratina V alternate art. You know what I'm saying? You can get some stinky. But it's all random. But let's get it. Here we go. We got Wurmple, Clefairy, Lickitung. We got a Comfy Reverse and a Hollow a glass year so all right first pack black code card not horrible let's go ahead and dive on into the second one try to you know bring in to existence that giratina v alternate art because we have yet to pull it a lot of alternate arts we haven't got i think the only ones in our binder that we have are the rotom and the galarian berserker but here we go we got the steel energy obama snow Lost City, Growlithe, Ducklet, Rockruff. Here we go. Come on now. Give me something. Sableye and a Hollow Kingdra. So, okay. Not bad. Two for two. <clears throat> a lot better than uh, the booster bundle. You know what I'm saying? But now, let's just pray that the last four packs aren't white coat cards. All right. We got to get at least an ultra rare, potentially a secret rare to keep up with that booster bundle. All right. So here we go, we're gonna take our four from the back and let's all guess grass. Boom, oh, you already know it's coming. Fuego Energy, we got some Viper, Stunfisk, Murkrow, Horsey, Mawile, Shellos, Vinacle, we got a Hisuian Arcanine Reverse, and a non hollow Malamar. So maybe that one let us down. Usually the Fuego Energy is pretty good to us, you know what I'm saying? But hey. Here we go. We got our fourth boost pack right here. It's feeling kind of heavy, and I'm feeling pretty good about it. So here we go, y'all. One, two, three, four. We got the V Star marker right there. We got Ambi Palm. We got Bomba Snow, Damage Pump, Wormpool, Clefairy, Lickitung, Horsey, Shuppet, the Suian Basque Legion Reverse, hiding a, a Politoed non hollow. All right, it's not looking good. It's coming down to the last two booster packs, y'all. And we're not looking good. We need an ultra rare on the board to keep up with the booster bundle right here. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Let's all guess fighting. All right, another metal energy. We got Lost City, Carbink, Komala, Zarua, Snover, Machop, Pikachu, Jinx, okay, we got Radiant Sneasler again. <laughs> what is hiding behind it? Ooh, the Cafable non hollow. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, grab this little sleevy DV real quick. And here we are, Mandalorians. We are on the last booster pack, short and sweet video. Just trying to compare some Pokemon products. So when you're out there in the wild, you're trying to weigh your options on price point. So I think that the uh, sleeve blisters are 468. So if you do the math, kind of looking into probably the $25 range. And then the booster bundle in the wild, I think is $26.99. So kind of teetering um, in the same realm, but the booster bundle might be a little bit better um, on price. Because like I said, $4.99 pretty much or $4.68, whatever it is, times six. That's what, 30 and then 26 for the booster bundle. So you got to weigh your wallets when you're out there. So that's why we do this here and on this channel, comparing the product. So when you're out there, you can make the best decision for you and your finances. But let's get it. Ooh, Mimikyu Reverse and Mandalorians. We are going to be ending on Ariados non hollow all right, y'all, that's going to do it for today's opening. And in conclusion, the single pack blisters did not possess the better heads over that booster bundle. And like I said, price point wise, when I was out in the wild in my area, the booster bundle was going for like $26. And then the single pack blisters are for like $4.68. So for an additional five bucks on the sleeve blister route, the pools kind of weren't there. But like I said, my luck might be a little different than yours when it comes to picking out product on the shelves, y'all. All right. So thank you for spending some time with me. If you made it all the way through the video, thank you so much. And like we always say on this channel, be sure you tell someone you love them today. 
and always remember, this is the way.